I remember back in the 70s seeing a TV commercial for Mr. Microphone. Broadcast over any FM car radio. Hey, good looking. We'll be back to pick you up later. I thought, what a cool way to pick up chicks. Well, I never got any chicks with the help of Mr. Microphone, and it ended up in my closet. So I decided to whip it out and put it to good use. I started by pulling off the windscreen, which revealed one screw, which allowed me to take apart Mr. Microphone. Once inside, you'll see a circuit board, a microphone, and some wiring. Using a pair of needle-nose pliers, I pulled out the switch, removed the battery connectors, and also removed the antenna. That'll leave you with the guts of Mr. Microphone. The first thing we're going to do is get rid of the cheap microphone and rewire it with a much higher quality mic. I decided to use a spare Audio-Technica mic that I had, and as painful as it was, I cut the cable, stripped the ends, and wired it to the original microphone connections on the circuit board. Now it's time to do something with that long, dangling antenna. I chose to use some magnet wire, a bolt, and made a small coil antenna, and then soldered the open end to the original connection on the circuit board. Be sure to measure out your wire so it's the exact same length as the original antenna, or it won't tune to the proper frequency. Now we also need to change our power source, going from two AA batteries to a single 3-volt button cell. It won't last as long, but it'll get the job done. Just use some electrical tape to make your contacts stick. I picked up a package of stick-up air fresheners because these seem to be the perfect container to house our new spy microphone. Take it apart and remove the inside scented ring that smells like someone's grandmother. Now take your newly modified Mr. Microphone and put it inside the air freshener, remove the protective paper on the sticky tape, and place it in a secret location. And since we were going retro, I decided to use my Walkman as the receiver. I tuned to the proper frequency, attached my earplug, and went about 100 feet away. And that's how to hack a Mr. Microphone.